Today you join us for the board of E border cross track walk here at Bugs Boarding ahead of the EBIT event on the 14th and 15th of August. Yep, it's gonna be a sick old time. Now, for those of you that don't know, border cross track is basically a race track for board sports. With features on it, and it's nice and wide so you can ride multiple people head to head. We're going for four people. It's gonna be four of us on this track all at once, yep. sending it. You can see already we're walking over rollers and doubles. Yeah, all nice and mellow, nothing too steep, nipply, nothing like that. Nothing should be grounded out. What have you got on top of the board? Uh, batteries, undersung batteries, all good. Bindings or no bindings as well, you're gonna be prime. Well, if you've even got one wheel, you know. Yeah, should be, should be all one good. wheels, come on down. EUCs, if there's enough EUCs, we'll do a separate EUC category, so. Now, the main thing that we've found with this track especially is there's berms but you don't necessarily need to use them. We're lovely and wide, so there's gonna be space for everyone. Yeah, you send it tight, wide, full throttle, back off, brake. You know what, you do what you want. There's no, some I'm tracks take here. this inside line. Yeah, Andy's taking the inside. You can see, with some eyes, there's some tracks there where Eamon hit it last week, sending on the inside while I was going wide. Oh, look, look, I've come out ahead. Check out that magic. All kinds of lines. <laughs> see, on a mountain board, you need these berms to keep your speed going down, but because we've got the magic of a, tr a throttle finger or a throttle thumb, we get the speed where we want it and when we want it. Yeah, so we're just taking a chilled walk down mm. here, semi-fast, so this video is not too long. Exactly. Now, we will give it a spruce up nearer the time. Yeah, it's going to be spruced up a bit nearer the time, but uh, as you can see, pretty hard packed already. Yeah. It's going to be great. And none of the gradient is too steep in the corners. So it's not like you're going to be flying down a hill uncontrollably. It's just a nice mellow downhill course. Yeah. Loads that of room is, for braking, charging, doing whatever the hell you want. That is a great point Andy makes there. This, this track is so good for e-board across because it's actually quite flat. As much as it goes down the hill, most of the gradient change is in the berms. Mm. Uh, so it means you don't accelerate too hard. So this is a really good track for all abilities, whether you're, you know, fairly new to e-off-roading, or if you're uh, seasoned veterans like Eamon behind the camera, <laughs> you're gonna be able to find lines and get down this track without too much of a worry. Absolutely. We're getting into one of the coolest sections of this track actually now, where we've got the chicane switchback. So you'll notice that the track inside is actually all the way over here. So you can hit the burn where you can try and cut it. So we've, we're expecting some carnage here. Should be good. <laughs> oh dear. Your favourite part, yeah? Your favourite part. <laughs> yeah. And it takes us out into the faster section of the track. So this is where you do pick up some speed. Um, some of you may not need your throttle so much going through this bit. This, this is a battery regen zone. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We've got this little step up here. Again, everything totally rollable. You don't have to wear anything. You can if you want to. Over this table and in we go to the drop berm. Fire down there. It does what it says on the tin. Mm. You, you drop down a hill and go around a berm at the same time. Yep. Now of all the corners on the track, this is the one you're not gonna cut the inside on, I don't think. <laughs> you're gonna use that bit of outside wide to just give you a bit of cushion and pushing you around the corner. But hey Matt, they can find that out for themselves. Oh yes, By they joining will. us. They will, they will. <laughs> now then, just a quick thing about the format. Like Matt said, it's four-man racing. The idea is you've got to have a qualified session, you've got to have a few races and then you get into the knockouts where it's fastest two go through, by fastest obviously the first two to the bottom, and then you slowly build up the ladder until you get to the finals and we crown a winner. Yeah, it's called the knockouts for a reason. You don't finish in the top two, you're knocked out, son. Mm. And there you go, well this will, this is far enough I think. Look, you yeah, got I mean, you see it a few goes more down features there here the and a right turn and the finish line will be right there. I mean, that's it, that's, that's the e-border cross track. It's, uh, we can't wait. This is, it's gonna change this track racing on it. Like, it is gonna be amazing. Mountain boards compared to E off-roaders. Oh, it's gonna be sweet. Well. Send it. Yeah. E board across track preview. On board with Andy and Eamon and myself. Head around the first corner now. Here we go, we'll dunk Andy on the inside here. Dunked him on the inside. He can't handle. He can't handle. Oh, guy jumping straight away. Ah, Losing a little bit there. Oh, Aaron's got Andy as well. It. Into the switchback. Here we go. Into the fast section. Cruising it. Aaron's going for it. Cruising it, home. There we go. Across the line. Lap done. 
I see you've got a good dunk on Andy as well. <laughs> Andy's got some work to do if he wants to take the title. <laughs> nice run, boy. Done. Cheers. But uh, yeah, there you go. Don't forget to visit eve-it.co.uk for all the latest news on the event and uh, be ready to buy tickets. Mm. They're going to be coming online very, very soon. Check the description, comments, whatever it is on this particular service that you're viewing us on. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I guess all that's left to say is tally-ho. Peace.